All right. So have you ever had something quit and you say, wow, about time? That's what this thing is. So I decided to take the opportunity to upgrade and I decided to take you along the ride. So if you are interested in maybe upgrading past a doctor meter or one of those power supplies to something a little bit more accurate, it's actually cheaper than the doctor meter and I've been using it for about two months. I fell in love with it and decided to go all out and just switch over my entire all three units. This little guy now runs the show. This. I've been using these for about two months now and wow, so accurate. So I will provide a link to this little guy in the show notes, but all of that fits in all of this. No overheating, uh, super accurate, easy to dial in, it's, it's ridiculous really. But you don't know until you know what's available. Alright, so the first thing you need is a way to mount this somewhere. Now they do make project boxes for these and if you go to thingiverse.com you could print off like one of these if you have a 3D printer. Okay and the thing just fits in there just like that and it just pops in and then you can mount it to whatever because it's got screw holes. Now if you don't have a 3D printer you can make one of these and it fits in there. This is just plastic from one of those lids that you store stuff in. You just cut it using tin snips and then cut the hole on the inside using a diamond bit wheel. That way it doesn't melt. So, either way you want to do it, you just have to find a way to mount it. I don't know which one I want to use yet. I think I will use the plastic one. So, cool. All right, so I was never, ever a fan of banana plugs. Um, banana plugs were these things right here. Those. And they became ex extinct when the company Radio Shack went out of business in America. Uh, they're hard to find, you have to get them online. And, I don't know, I'm just not a big fan. So I'm going to be using plugs. That's right, augmented plugs. These are cheap, they're 48 cents. Extension cords are $1.37. Okay, they plug in there, look at that. One's gonna be positive, one's gonna be negative. I also need two leads. So look at, they already have the two leads. So, this is going to get hooked up to this. So the side effect of getting these, or you have to power them using one of these. Okay, I'm using a 24 volt 6 amp, but I think it goes like 50 volt. Wait. Yeah, these are heavily made in China, by the way, but trust me when I say it, it's the good part of China. So, um, yeah. It's, 6 to 55 volts. Nice. Well, anyway, I already have one working, and this is the power supply I was using. I will never go above that in electroforming or electroplating. You just strip the phono plug off of it. And that would go in the in which they are labeled in and out. So in positive and negative. Just make sure that you're using the right. Positive is red. Now you'd be surprised how many people don't solder or work with electronics. So just in case 
this is how you put these in. So now for the other side, these are the outputs. What I'm going to have there is this 14 gauge stranded wire. Did I say stranded? I meant solid. Yes, 14 gauge solid wire. So they make these things. <laughs> Perfect, right? wire cutters. Okay, so plugs work a little bit differently for this application, but they do have the right stuff. All you do is have to cut this thing, this little bridge, just like so. And if you look at these, they have these holes. That allows you to do this. So you can just insert it in there and it automatically clamps down. Once you insert, you just pull a little bit and that locks it into position. in, then pull a little bit to lock it. There we go. I'm going to do that with the black wire at the top. Finished product should look like that. Okay, a red and black wire about 12 inches long. Make sure you nip enough off about one inch on one side and only a quarter inch on the other side. Just a little bit like that. This is a project box. Well, not really a project box. It's um, yeah, I don't know what they call these, but um, you can get these at your local hardware store. And they're for AC electricity, they mount outlets in it, so this is going to actually get mounted in here, just like that. Okay, but I want all my wiring to go in here. So, I'm going to take these out of the equation, these bottom ones. I like this kind because I can quickly mount it with two screws. Okay, so it works like this. Fashion a little loop right here. And this is going to go on the bottom one. And I'm going to actually mount this on this side. Cool. So that one is going to go there, and the red one is going to go down here. So they're not even close to each other. Finished product should look like this. And then I got these. These will connect into the back. So that one, the positive, goes on this side. The red one goes on this side, and the negative one goes on this side. So I'm going to actually mount this under my tank first, and then mount this project box. And then run all the wires, but then I'll show you what it looks like. 
All right, so there's the mounted project box. And now I just screw that in place. And here's my tank, so right below it. This is the other unit I'm getting rid of. And this is the project box that it comes with sometimes. You can get one with the project box. But uh, yeah, not a big fan of that one either. It's just small, sits there. I kind of want something a little bit, um, you can see all these wires, right? It's like, wow. Everywhere, wires, wires. So, yeah, it's a little wire management going on here. Okay, sweet, I'm gonna attach this and then I'm gonna mount that power supply right here. So, there is the finished product so far. Do not use, only for tank. Nice. Positives or negatives at the top, positives at the bottom. And here's how I mounted that. Nice and airy. Gets all, you know, I've never seen it get hot, but even in its little case, the case is freaking ice cold. But um, I mounted this one so it's with the vents are up. I'm going to be taking it out of its case and mounting it right underneath the tank like this, over on this side, and then one over on this side too. So now we have these to build. I'll show you how that works. So extension cords, again, $1.37, come in a bunch of different colors. I do not need this end. I got six foot ones. Here's a white one. So the black one will be the negative and the white one will be a positive. They don't come in red. I mean, I mean they might be on Amazon, but oops. So if you can get one on Amazon that's red, that'd be kind of sweet looking. So the positive wire, I've learned that gator clips, not a good idea. Gator clips always get in your tank, no matter what you do. No matter how many times you're saying, no, I'll be safe this time, nope. What's good is a good plastic clip, clothespin or something like that, plastic clothespin with no metal spring and then bare wire. So the positive is like this. Now, my negative is going to have um, gator clips on. So I'll show you how to put gator clips on. I've had so many questions about soldering. You'd be surprised. So not many, not all people know how to solder, believe it or not. So I'll show you how that works. Soldering iron rule number one. You do not need an 8,000 watt soldering iron, okay? This is a 25 watt soldering iron, and it works just fine for just about everything I do. It heats up very quickly. The more wattage, the longer it takes to heat up. Okay, the key to using that type of soldering iron is this very thin flux core wire okay so this is solder it's flux core solder and you notice the diameter is about 16th of an inch so that's what you want with a 25 watt soldering iron this will last you forever Helping hands, no matter where, these are invaluable. Okay, you do not have to get the, the expensive ones like this, but these are really nice for electroplating as far as like building your compositions are concerned. See that they're on magnets and you can put them in different locations and you can hold 
them at any location. So this is a very awesome build. I don't know what I would do without it. Helping hands. Harbor Freight. Best place on earth. If you do not have that in your country, move. These are $1.99 for all these. Okay, so that's how I got this. And you can see I got a barren wire. Go ahead and stick the barren wire into it. And you should see the barren part right there. All right, so now you just heat up that clip. And you have to heat the clip and the wire. And I found the best way to do that is pour a crap ton of solder. So I'm... That will heat up both the wire and the tin. And leave it there. Because if you don't, you'll have a cold solder or cold connection. And how do you know you have it? Well, you'll start seeing that it gets stuck onto the clip. Just like that. You can see that the solder has been merged with the wire and the clip itself. Easy as that. All right, so let me show you how this works. I have my unit. This is, acts as my banana clips. I've got positive and negative. I'll probably put warning tags on these. Not to use these in standard outlets, okay? Then, that goes to my negative. Negative is outside the tank. There's a barrier wall here, so these do not corrode. For my positives, I got them on my anodes, but I use an all plastic clip. Cool. Now I'll show you the accuracy of this thing. All right, so basically it goes like this. It's off by nature until you turn it on. So see the little red that indicates it's not on yet. So I can go on, now it's green. And how I set my voltage is I got this voltage. So I can set it in the um, hundreds. So I can go real accurate if I want to. See that little purple? I can rotate this up, and as I rotate it, you can see my amps go up. So in this case, I want my amps for the load I have at 0.5 amps. Look how accurate that was. And it even gives you the wattage. Oh, it's so amazing. And if I wanted to go, let's say, really fast, I could just click this, and I could have changed it at that value or super fast at that value. So you can go really quick up in volts if you wanted to. I only tend to use this, again that's that, see how the five is purple? I use that value the most to change. Again, you just rotate this. When you're done, you could just leave it and it automatically stops and doesn't allow changes until you hit this button. Now, if you have kids, again, that's amazing because nobody will screw with your tanks. They'd have to know to push this one first and then rotate this. It's like a combination. Mine doesn't do that, but just in case you have smaller kids. Cool. So, awesome power supply. Highly recommend it. Been using that one for about two months. Love it. Just didn't like the way it was mounted. So I hope you enjoy the setup. Have fun.